Hi everybody, I um, hope you're doing okay. I do apologise uh, for the no videos over the weekend, uh, but I had a few problems going on and my I just couldn't get my head into doing anything properly because, I don't know, there was just stuff going on in my private personal life that was happening and yeah, I just couldn't get my head into doing it and I didn't want to do a video or stop motion, let's put it that way, and it'd be rubbish, I want you to be able to do it, so um, I'm going to be getting my head through the week, and this weekend coming, you'll have your next stop motion, so I just want to say sorry for about that, but there we go, anyway, right, uh, got two model reviews to d now, um, these are of the Joel um, JCB telescopic handlers, the uh, 50, uh, the 5, the 525 slash 58 and the 53170, uh, they're in 135 scale and, oh, as this was, we'll do this one first, we'll do the, um, this was, um, Joel, this is one. This was Joel's first um, model of the telescopic handler uh, NZG back in the late eighties, early nineties. Did a five twenty B and the five twenty. Uh, if you go on eBay, you can see them on there. But they're uh, running around seventy five to one hundred and ten pound at the moment. Uh, they are the, the very first when JCB manufactured, started manufacturing uh, telescopic handlers. This model is of the mid 90s into the early thousands, uh, 2000. Uh, you did get this in the farm mar the farm special in 2000 but the construction went into the uh, same as what the 531 uh, side, uh, side engined uh, telehandlers but anyway this is this one um, it's all metal a very heavy machine uh, model to have as well in your, in your hand uh, it comes with either a yellow bucket which I got it in or it comes with forks um, because I got the 531 already with forks I got this with a bucket because obviously you can interchange them um, it's got a very it's at low down it's got a good tip it, it will release it will tip out uh, but at higher uh, when you're say loading a, a high sided vehicle that as far as it will tip you can um, detach the bucket from the carriage is what I do and then what I do is I just re-clip the bottom of the bucket in again and that gives you a bit extra on uh, the tipping angle and that will then tip out uh, as, I, as you can see the bucket detaches uh, it hooks on the top onto the, onto the top of the carriage there and there and you've got two hooks on the back of the bucket and then these are little lugs at the back uh, so you then put this on and then that clicks in it's got a very good bucket roll back it'll sit back and roll back quite far um, it's got a good high lift and it's nice and easy coming in and out it doesn't go out very far but it's of the model there is it's a I you know, like I say, it's, it's a good to have uh, model. Uh, it's got a plastic exhaust pipe on the back and a rear mesh guard. Um, it's got JCB written on the back of the boom. It's got four wheel steering, so you can go around quite a narrow, narrow curve with it. Um, you can also crab steer with it, so you can get into tighter places. And you can also got just front steering um, when you go along. Uh, it, go, it rolls on quite nicely. 
Uh, the cab is just all painted inside black. Um, and if you take undo that one screw there, uh, the whole machine splits apart and you can take the cab and everything apart. Uh, same thing though, it's a narrow cab and you can't fit a Suzuki, a CQ sorry, or a Britain's person in it because their shoulders are too narrow, uh, too wide, sorry, and the cab's narrow. Uh, it's got a grill on the top of the cab which is plastic and that just clips in there and there and you can unclip that to take the plastic uh, screen out of the cab. Um, yeah, so these I think are on the eBay at the moment at around 18 to 25 pounds. Yeah, for another Joel model, I would say it's a very good collector's model if you like JCBs and telehandlers. Um, it's got lights. Let's lift that up. Too got lights on this side and in the front of the cab they're not painted they're just black and it's got an air filter uh, just there on the arch um, so yeah this is the JCB 525 58 telehandler um, from Joel right now go on to this one alright this is the JCB 5 three one seventy uh load all from JCB. Um as you can see it's in the new up to date it's not got the new livery but it has it's the next this is the two thousand and three um side um this has a oscillating rear axle and it also has four wheel steering so you can it does a nice curve left and right you can also crab steer it so it will go along it will crab into uh, tight spaces um, it also lifts up but this does actually lift up and it's got a bigger and higher reach than the um, 525 58 uh, this also car this comes with uh, my, this one that I've got, I got it with pallet forks, but it also comes with a bucket, but the bucket is painted black. Uh, the forks unclip like this, and they just go swing in, and click in and click down. Um, it has a beacon on the roof, uh, plastic rear exhaust pipe. But the other thing on this model that I quite like is that the uh, lights at the back, they go into work position or you can lift them up and they then go into transport position. So you can have the lights out, so when you're going along the road you have the lights out and then when you get onto site or get to the yards you then you can push them back in and then they're into work mode then so they won't get knocked and banged around. Uh, this comes with lights that are with indicators and they are painted on the front of the uh, cab and on the wheel arch. These also come with mirrors either side front and back. The one on the cab is very very um, what's the word I can say flimsy and loose you've only literally got to touch it and you could knock it off um, so what I have done is I have actually put some um, super glue on mine but I just put it on the corner where it goes into the corner of the cab there I mean as you can see by my finger it is very very loose but because I've done it it will most probably break past the super glue but I've got it in there so at least it's got a bit of strength to it now um, it's also got painted work lights on the back of the roof as well. Um, these this goes on eBay as well for around eighteen to twenty eight pounds, depending on post and package. It's a very heavy model again, heavier than the five two five fifty eight, um, but I would say it's a definitely another recommended uh, model for your farm or if you collect just construction models or anything like that um, I would say yeah, definitely uh, get a 
Um, but you, like I say, you've got two different versions of this. You've got a forks or a bucket. Uh, what I really, what I've noticed now, um, especially with these, this model, this one uh, with the forks, is that it comes with a black palette. Now mine never come with a black palette. Mine just came as it is. But I've noticed now that they uh, sell it with a black palette, so you also get a palette that comes with it. Um, so another reason why I, should, why I think you should get it because it comes with that accessory, so you can actually do placement of it and yeah it's got a very good lift on this so I'd say it's one of the better lifts so that's why I have this one with the forks and the other with the bucket uh, it's got a good roll tip on it uh, it's got a different setup though with the uh, with the uh, tilt ram it's got the actual Z bar knuckle on it uh, here Whereas the uh, 58, uh, 5258's only just got a ram with a knuckle head on it. So, um, yeah, uh, this is what I would, these, this is the uh, mod, model review of the Joel JCB Telehand Lodals um, in 135 scale. Cheers guys, thanks very much. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment below. And I will catch up with you soon. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye.